an action camera that's half the price of my last favorite GoPro clone? The Thi, the Thi, Thi, i60e. What's up everybody, I'm the Everyday Dad. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. You may have noticed, it's, I'm in a little bit of a different position today. It's actually, it's snowing. Maybe you can see it back there. It's snowing out there. But the action doesn't stop just because it's cold out here and neither will I. Maybe. <laughs> we'll have to see, this is not my normal Southeast United States habitat where it's always 60 degrees. But anyway, we're out here to check out my newest budget action camera. Let's crack it open. Inside the box, you'll get the camera inside of its waterproof case. Some instructions. And all of the accessories you need to get an action camera up and running. Seriously, one of the best parts of these Chinese action cameras is they really give you everything you need to get going. I paid 60 bucks for this camera and the price and included accessories get me about halfway towards recommending it just on their own. But let's get into what I humbly call the pillars of action. Ease of use, and that generally means a touch screen. Now the Thi does have a screen, however it is not a touch screen. And to be honest, navigating its options is pretty complicated and it's not intuitive at all. It definitely takes a hit in the ease of use department. However, like my Sony FDRX3000, it does have an included phone app that can control the camera, making up for the lack of a touchscreen, but even this app only works about 50% of the time. It took me three tries just to get it to work correctly to film this. Two, I want it to work with GoPro type accessories. Now, you saw in the box, it comes with a whole slew of GoPro type accessories. And so the major one I'm really concerned about is my gimbal, which is a Feutech G5. If it can work with that, it will work with the majority of my accessories. The i60e is really light and you have to mess around with the counterbalance weights a bit, but you can get it to work with the Feutech G5, which gives it a big thumbs up for me. Three, decent image quality. Now. Like I've said before, all of these cheap action cameras use generally the same sensor, so you, you shouldn't be looking for top of the line image quality when it comes to these guys. But this one does do okay, especially when we consider it was a $60 camera. It, but it's not great, but it's not terrible. Four, and this is a huge one, durability. If an action camera can't take a hit, it is not an action camera and you cannot call it thus. Period. End of story. Hang up the phone. Clue, 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 clue. This is a major hit against the i60e. It just feels cheap. And this is coming from a guy that loves the Yi Light, which also feels chintzy, but the i60e feels just way cheaper. It is very light, but the light doesn't make it feel high tech. It makes it feel flimsy. And I just don't think it could stand up to any abuse, let alone tough abuse. Five, some kind of built-in stabilization. Stabilization is one of my favorite things action cameras are doing this year. So many cameras are getting awesome stabilization and I think it's one of the strongest reasons to get an action camera period in 2017 going into 2018. Unfortunately, the Thi i60e has zero stabilization. The website at Amazon say it has some kind of anti-shaking stabilization and if I can't find it doing a quick cursory glance through the settings, that means it doesn't exist. But like I said, for 60 bucks, how many options can you really expect out of a camera? So now that we got that out of the way, let's cover the most important specs to an everyday person such as myself. It can do, and you can't see my air quotes here, 4K at 30 frames per second. It can do 1080p up to 60 frames per second, and it can do 720p up to 120 frames per second for its equivalent of slow motion. It does have a 12 megapixel camera and can take 12 megapixel stills. It has a Sun Plus chipset, which I hadn't really heard of before, but I expect that means it's just gonna be poor quality video to make up for th some of those costs where it is a $60 camera. And it should get roughly 90 minutes of battery life per each 1050 milliamp hour battery. So spoiler alert real quick, when we go out to do the audio test in just a minute, the audio on this thing is terrible. When it's in the case, you can't hear it. When it's out of the case, it's unsynced and it's... Well, a lot of people use action cameras for vlogging, so we're gonna do an audio test between the two cameras. So this is the audio test, the GoPro Hero 6 Black, and the audio... Kinda, kinda, it definitely did not save the footage from earlier, so. This is the 
the audio from the TI ICTE without the case on it. Well, seriously, it's bad. Now that we've got the specs out of the way and I'm inside doing all this afterwards, let's go back outside to take this for a test ride. And we're back. It's still it's still freezing outside. Super sweet ninja skills. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> And we're done. Fun fact, the Fayutech G5 does not like working in 25 degree weather. I mean, in all fairness, neither do I. So we're gonna head back to the house where it's warmer, compare the footage between these two tiny little cameras. See you there. So what, right? So should you get a Thi i60e action camera? I have a hard time recommending this one for a couple of reasons. One, it feels cheap. Like, I do not have confidence that this would be durable at all. And like I say all the time, if an action camera can't take a hit, it's not an action camera. I get it, it's 60 bucks. It's a really good deal for a camera. And the image quality isn't terrible, but the audio is atrocious. And it's not very easy to use. Sometimes the app likes to connect, sometimes it doesn't like to connect. So if literally all you have to spend is 60 bucks, yeah, then I guess this is better than nothing. This is way better than that cheapest action camera we checked out before, which is now like 60 bucks. Do not buy that for 60 bucks, it's not worth it. It was barely worth 12. Um, so if you can only afford 60 bucks, okay, I would recommend the Thi i60e to you. But if you can just save up your pennies a little bit farther or wait a little bit longer to get an action camera, the Yi Light is light years ahead of this thing, and I would definitely recommend that over this. Will I keep it? I personally am not gonna keep this camera. It doesn't, it is not very good for what I need an action camera for. And I have other things that are able to do better than this, like the GoPro, like the Sony FDR, like the E-Lite, which I'm actually really a big fan of. Um, but I'm not gonna personally keep this. I will be giving this to the everyday kid for Christmas though, because he uses that cheapest action camera that's garbage that you should not buy. Uh, he's been using that and the battery lasts like three minutes, so I'm gonna give him this. This is gonna be one of his Christmas presents where he can start filming with me with an, a real action camera. So it may not be staying with me personally, but it is staying in the family, just like that Bluetooth speaker from the other day. Uh, we're keeping it. I'm not personally keeping it, but it's staying in the house. Well, hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, click that subscribe button down below. We do cheap tech reviews every Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Well, hey, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure out that sometimes you can go a little too much budget for your budget action cameras coming from a budget guy, you can figure it out. Thanks for watching.